okay so in last class we have seen uniform transmission line what is uniform transmission line by looking the geometry we can uh, we can take the decision the transmission line is uniform or not uniform what was the definition definition was if cross sectional area of the conductor is same along the length similarly for the second conductor if the cross sectional area of the second conductor is same along the length and both conductors are made or fabricated by same material then we say it's a uniform transmission line okay so today we will study balanced and unbalanced transmission line observe that can i say it's a this uh, transmission line is the example of uh, uniform transmission line because cross sectional area is same uh, of same uh, for the uh, same along its length for both conductors okay and one end of the conductor is connected with excitation and another is connected another end is connected with uh, load okay let's see uh, this path is known as par forward path and this path is known as backward path observe the value of current and direction at point a and a dash a a dash and a double dash observe the current okay you can see the magnitude of both current are same yes but the direction is opposite okay observe this point means can i say if direction is opposite means they are opposite in phase if the current the forward current is like that then backward current will be opposite in phase okay this is our observation okay one more thing you can observe the geometry of uh, both conductors are similar similar means because Uh, uh, both have same cross sectional area along its length okay so now let's observe the second geometry that is known as coaxial line what uh, what is the physical geometry of coaxial line coaxial line contains the central conductor means this conductor and there is outer conductor by looking the geometry this is the front view of the uh, coaxial line by looking the geometry you can say the cross sectional area of this central conductor is smaller than the outer conductor because uh, outer uh, conductor exhibit larger cross sectional area okay means we can say uh, there is difference in geometry of uh, both conductors okay so if you observe such kind of situation or such kind of structure then you directly take decision such kind of transmission line is unbalanced transmission line how can you identify the unbalanced transmission line if the cross sectional area of the first conductor and the cross sectional area of the second conductor are different then you directly take the decision the transmission line will be a uh, unbalanced transmission line okay let's see this is the example of micro strip line this is the front view and this is the actual view okay yeah, you can see the top conductor this is known as micro strip line and this one is known as ground plane okay you can see the cross sectional area of the top conductor and bottom conductor the, both cross sectional areas are different then this uh, transmission line will be the example of unbalanced transmission line okay so then what about this what about this uh, this transmission line will be the example of balanced transmission line and in the case of balanced transmission line at particular point you can say the current will be opposite in phase okay so let's try to identify which one is balanced transmission line and which one is unbalanced transmission line you can see the this there are two conductors and the cross sectional area of the both conductors are same and as well as as well as you can 
you can see uh, at any particular point the current will be opposite in opposite in phase okay and uh, geometry is similar for the both conductor the decision will be balanced transmission line okay this this kind uh, for this transmission line you can see the cross sectional area of the top conductor and the cross sectional area of the bottom conductor is entirely different and this is this will be the example of unbalanced transmission line similarly coaxial cable uh, central conductor and take uh, and uh, outer conductor the cross sectional area will be different then uh, answer will be unbalanced transmission line okay let's see some another examples okay so one two three the cross sectional area of both conductors are same along its length in in this case again same in this case again same then one two three these are the example of balanced transmission line what about this the cross sectional area is changing cross sectional area is changing uh, again in this case the uh, uh, cross sectional area of the ground plane and the top conductor is entirely different then this will be the example of unbalanced transmission line okay so acha uh, tell me tell me uh, uh, you can uh, you can also you can also take the decision which one is uniform and which one is non uniform i have already told okay there are some uh, another uh, planar conductors pl planar transmission line uh, these transmission lines are uh, given here and you have to decide which one is balanced transmission line and which one is unbalanced transmission line in this case what we can say the cross sectional area of the both conductor along its length is same as well as both are made by the same uh, same material then we say we will take the decision this transmission line will be the example of balanced transmission line then what about this what about slot line what about conductor bag conductor bagged slot line you have to take the decision which one is uh, unbalanced and un, uh, balanced transmission line so uh, these are the also some examples of planar transmission line take decision which one is balanced or unbalanced and this is the assignment for you in next lecture we will see the how how can we how can we draw the field distribution uh, in the transmission line magnetic field uh, as well as electric field and we will see what we what is uh, transverse plane what is the direction of propagation what is uh, longitudinal axis and we will see so many things in next lecture so please watch my next lecture about uh, the field distribution in the transmission line thank you very much